R O C H Mentally Chicka Man Missy Twister Show Nuck Yeah, don't get mad at me With another one And another one Part two, we kind of establish our lanes of operation. And uh, in part one, we also established that uh, we're going to try to run with a minimum of five trucks. So now in part three, we're going to kind of give a scenario of how much you can expect to make with a steady operation for... Usually a good year in trucking will go from, I would say, February up till about maybe mid-November to mid-December. And then you'll kind of have a two-month period where you kind of, where things are kind of uh, slow or or probably uh, no movement at all. So we're going to base our year from February to December. And kind of project what we can make with our five trucks running the 11 Western Regional. And then we're going to uh, see how much we made with our local trucks. First off, I'll present the company with a rate sheet. And on the rate sheet, um, our per mile would average about 345 a mile. And the fuel surcharge would average at about 55 cents a mile. So basically, uh, if we were to use this uh, formula, 345 a mile, 55 cents uh, a mile surcharge for the fuel, uh, you you take the three team, the three sleeper trucks, uh, you start them out on trips, and this is for a week. So you would start one truck going to Seattle and back and that's roughly about 1600 miles and with the per uh or with the rate formula uh that truck would generate $5600 per trip uh truck going from Stockton to Los Angeles uh down and back it would generate um $2800 per trip and the truck going from Stockton to Salt Lake City, which is 1,400 miles, uh, would generate $5,500 uh, with the per rate or per mile rate plus the fuel surcharge. Uh, additionally, with uh, LA, can be a little more profitable because there's a lot of uh, you got a lot of uh, other routes you can run from LA, so. Say you go down to L.A., send the truck down to L.A., now you can just send the truck to Phoenix, uh, which is 388 miles from L.A. to Phoenix, and that would generate $1,550. And from you can send the truck on out from Phoenix to El Paso, and let's see, that would generate about $1,600 uh, one way. And then you can send that truck back from El Paso to San Bernardino, which would be roughly about $3,000. And then from uh, San Bernardino, you send it back up to Stockton, and that would be $1,550. Once the truck gets down to L.A., you can also send that truck up to Salt Lake City and back. And that would generate about $5,450 with the uh, formula um, that I mentioned before. Uh, 345 a mile plus the $0.55 cent fuel surcharge. It won't always be 345 and it won't always be $0.55 cents a mile surcharge. But that will kind of fall in like the average price. Uh, it could be higher, it could be lower, you know. Sometimes you might have to do it for two, two thirty a mile. Sometimes you could, you know, get it for five dollars a mile. But three forty-five, 
it's kind of like the average I would like to stay in myself personally. Now that you've got regional uh, revenue um, taken care of, we're going to start with uh, the revenue from local operations. So uh, basically you'll have, or the way I'll set it up, I'll have two to three day cabs. And what I'll do is I'll operate them within a hundred mile radius from uh, whatever base, uh, be it a warehouse or um, maybe a, a yard where I park the trucks. I operate within a hundred mile radius of that area, and I'll set it up uh, close to the rate that I have for regional. Um, generally, set it up for between two fifty to three dollars a mile. Uh, as long as it's within a hundred mile radius and then maybe uh, every 50 miles outside of that hundred mile radius I'll bring it up uh, uh, from 25 to 50 cents a mile in addition to that rate so for example if something's going uh, 200 miles out I'll charge uh, three dollars plus uh fifty cents for or a dollar for the additional mile a hundred miles out so it'd be roughly four dollars a mile so for instance if i was to go from stockton down to bakersfield which is about 240 miles i would put it at a rate of about four dollars and fifty cent per mile and i'll just do that one way and if I was to get freight coming back, then I would charge it accordingly, which would probably be the same, maybe from uh, 3 to $4 a mile. But generally, in a, um, when you're doing a local operation, usually it's going to be one way. So you try to get a high enough rate so you can uh, justify the return trip. So we'll do it at $4.50 a mile plus the 50 cent fuel surcharge which would give us a grand total of right around about twelve hundred dollars for that trip so normally you would get you would probably just do a hundred mile radius trip some less than a hundred miles and uh i try to do if it's a hundred i try to max out at about three dollars a mile plus the fuel surcharge and if they're shorter um Usually just generally the same, just uh, roughly about, probably inch it up to maybe 310 or 330 a mile, um, plus the fuel surcharge. So, and try to do about two trips a day. So you go out, unload, come back, reload, and go out one more time, and then unload. Local is fairly different from the regional, uh, meaning you have to do mostly live loads and live unloads. Or you can set up a drop and hook situation where you can drop the trailer at the warehouse the night before, get it loaded, and then just pick it up in the morning and go unload it and then come back and pick up a second trailer and take it to another customer or to the same customer. You could generally do about roughly from 600 to 700 a day with a local truck uh, operation. And you can add that to um, the revenue from your regional operation and you can end up with a nice tidy profit at the end of the year um, I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.